Hello, my name is Julian Henderson. I'm a member of staff and Department of Classics and Archaeology at Nottingham University. My main teaching research interests are basically early Islamic archaeology, the Silk Road, archaeological materials such as glasses and glazes, and the use of scientific techniques to provenance and investigate the ten technology of ancient materials. So what I thought I'd do today is show you a short presentation of the kind of work that I've been involved in. Uh, so here you can see a map of Syria. Uh, and here is the main uh, center where I've been working uh, until the war started, of course, in 2011. Uh, Raqqa was uh, the capital of the Abbasid Caliphate in the early 9th and late 8th century and the, uh, it was a very powerful centre. that It had domain over an area stretching from southern Spain to northern India. It uh, was there for, and it was, as you can see, it's located next to this river here, the River Euphrates, one of the two very famous rivers that flow into the Persian Gulf and originate in the Turkish mountains. And indeed, uh, this area has been described as the cradle of civilization. Here is that river, the River Euphrates, a beautiful, broad, flat uh, river, between, uh, which actually flows between uh, a sort of semi-desert environment. So our work in, uh, in Raqqa was uh, involved excavations close to the city wall and this is a shot I took at five in the morning having just got the train from Damascus and it actually shows a group of Bedouin sitting there with sheep in the background. Quite a biblical scene. Um, this is the kind of uh, glass that was being made in Raqqa but the really extraordinary thing about this is that this particular bowl was found in a Buddhist uh, crypt just outside a city called Xi'an in northwestern China, uh, and it formed part of a really important treasury. Uh, you can see a, what is probably a poppy uh, seed head in the middle of this, and it's possible that indeed this was connected in some way to the use of opium. But anyway, this then must have been transferred in some way along the Silk Roads from Syria all the way to China. Uh, coming back to Raqqa, this is a, uh, a digital map of Raqqa. Uh, we excavated in this area here, the industrial complex. Uh, just to the north is this extraordinary complicated series of uh, structures, which would have been palaces in the early 9th century. So it underlines what a really very important place it was, uh, where the Caliph Harun al-Rashid resided for a short time. And that's the reason why this city is known as a palace city. We excavated an area of about one and a half miles long uh, to the east of that, um, of this uh, wall city here. And we, those are the walls we were looking at just now. And we discovered a whole range of really uh, impressive structures for making pottery and glass. And here you can see one of those kilns that was uh, making glaze ceramics, and it's about three meters in diameter. And these were churning out pottery and glass, which were then traded uh, down through the Persian Gulf to Southeast Asia, and also overland through Iran and Central Asia too. Here is one of the uh, glass furnaces that we found, and I've done a sort of reconstruction here. So the air would have been heated up uh, in this chamber underneath the floor here uh, and uh, it's uh, the hot air would have risen, it uh, bounced off the roof and down onto the floor of the furnace. In the bottom right there you can actually see the melted bricks because it, it reached about 1200 degrees centigrade. Uh, so they combined plant ash and sand which they melted in vast quantities to produce this beautiful translucent glass which was then blown into uh, various vessel shapes like this. <clears throat> so that's known as secondary production. 
And finally, uh, what we've been able to do using uh, techniques borrowed from forensic science uh, in collaboration with geologists is ca characterize glasses made across a 2000 mile uh, distance from Egypt to northern Iran. And from that, we can distinguish glasses made in the Levant, glasses made in uh, Raqqa, glasses made in northern Iran at a place called Nishapur, and two sites in Iraq, Iraq uh, Samara, which was a second, uh, a later center of the Abbasid Caliphate, and Tazifon, which is south of Baghdad. Okay, so um, I hope that's uh, given you some idea of the kind of things that I do in the department uh, and look forward to welcoming you.